What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Coming at you live from my little craft room here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Hi, how are you guys? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to be back um, doing my little lives um, and hanging out with you guys. I'm so thankful to be uh, back doing my thing. So today, what I am, well, not today, but like over the course of this week or so, I don't know how long it's going to take me, but I'm making 23 journals, y'all. I don't know why. I just decided that was a good number. So I'm using all of the fabrics that I have in my stash. Um, maybe this light is a little bit too bright. Okay, we're good. I'm still getting the whole setup in my room together, um, but I'm using a bunch of fabrics from my stash. Um, so I'm really excited to be getting rid of some fabric. Um, I also have some fabric samples in my shop if you guys are interested, which are very uh, much, pretty much the same as what I'm working with here. This one turned pink. I don't remember it being pink because it's part of this fabric. So I don't even know how that happened. Anyway, so these still need to be sewn together, but I have already made them. I worked on this over the weekend actually. And this here, hey, Stephanie, Steph, <coughs> let me move a little bit more towards me. Again, I'm still working on my setup here. <laughs> I'm still trying to see where on the camera I hang out. Um, so these are fabric that I fused together with cardstock using, of course, you guys know my favorite heat and bond. So that is what this is right here. That's what all this is. That's what I spent the whole weekend doing was fusing together fabric and a piece of eight and a half by 11 card socks. So just so you guys know what size I am working with, this is just eight and a half by 11 folded in half. And then everything inside that I'm putting into these journals will measure uh, eight by five or smaller. That's what I have made. All of my um, pages here are eight by, eight, uh, by five or smaller. And so basically what I'm going to be working on today is um, sewing the signature into four journals. I already did it into two of them today. Um, but first I have to sew on this lace here that I, uh, this like lace, uh, scrap lace situation I have going on. I love this here. Um, I do have this also available in my shop. So all the description, all the links will be down in the description box below. So that is what I'm putting on the edges of these papers, trying to make them really um, cute. Oh, I love this color combo right here. This page is really cute. I love that. Um, I also included some. I didn't have that many, actually. I want to make more. I guess I made some Franken papers, and I haven't used them, so I decided to use them in these journals. So some of them do have this really pretty Franken paper. And as I finish these journals, um, I don't know how this... Oh, it has two. That's why. Okay. So this has like two. Oh, no, it's just one doily. I don't know why I thought it was two. No, it is two. Cool. You get two doilies there. Um, these are going to go in my shop as I finish them up as I decorate them because I do plan on, excuse my nose, I do plan on fully decorating them. So I'm excited about that part as well. Um, I am basically using the kits that I put together about a month or so ago now. I know I've been gone for a while. So last time I went live, I made some junk journal kits and this, that is what I am using to put together these uh, journals. So they have a nice mix of like papers and like I made sure that I had a lot of like life paper because these, are, these journals are meant to be written in. So everything is gonna be um, for that. So I'm gonna have a lot of writing spaces, a lot of tags in here. I'm really excited to get these together. So you guys, so now, <laughs> now we get down to business. I have these four journals I gotta get together. I really love this fabric. This is one of my favorite fabrics that I have, um, that I have in my collection. And I don't have that much of it, so I'm sad, but also happy at the same time that I'm using it up. So that is always a positive to me. So I need to add these ribbons. Uh, this lace to the edge of the journals, um, but I also found this a little bit late, so I do want to add a couple more things. Uh, some printables from my store that are really cute. 
I am just going to put one in here. And then we're going to move on a little bit. And I'm going to add one more. And we'll add it to this page right here. I'm going to put one of these to-do lists. I have a bunch of to-do lists here. They're all a little bit different. This one will have some roses. So that'll be cute right there. Okay, so that's done for this one. We'll figure it out when it comes to the next ones. What I'm going to add to it. So um, I like to add the ribbon every like three or four pages. Um, just so that it adds a little bit of interest while still being flat so that you can, you know, ultimately write in this journal. So let me get some of this cut off from here. And usually I'll do about <clears throat> three or four pages in this one signature. This signature has about 15 pages in it. So there's that. And sorry if you guys hear sirens or anything. <laughs> I don't live in the best area of town, um, so there's always sirens, uh, <laughs> police sirens. And I live right next to a fire station, uh, so <laughs> there's going to be some noises. Also, I'm not used to it, but where I'm going to live, where I'm living now, um, it's like a townhouse. It's like a row of townhouses, so, and I'm at the very beginning of the row of townhouses, so people, <laughs> I'm not used to it, but people are uh, might be uh, walking by my door and such. So there's going to be that. So let me see how many sets I have. One, two, almost three. Oh, three sets. Okay, so one more set. Because like I said, usually I'll put about four. I'll usually put about four of these in the journal. I space them out about every three to four pages. I'll include... Uh, a page that has this border on it. I love this. I've spent so much time making these, you guys. <sighs> it's great, it's great, it's great. I love it. Um, okay, so now let's get to sewing. So the doilies I have in the signature, I've actually glued. So I did drop a little bit of glue um, here on the edge so that it would stay in place while I'm sewing. Also, um, what I did is pencil, with a pencil, I went ahead and uh, drew a line down the middle of the signature. Sorry about my nose. Okay, so all the doilies should be in place, glued on. Okay, so now I put in the extra printables. Okay, so now one, I'll put it on this one actually. I'm going to switch. Sometimes I'll switch because the, this paper right here would shred if I sewed on it. So I'm going to switch that to this and then make this the front paper. And then I can sew the ribbon on the very front paper. So sometimes I don't take that into accord when I'm actually putting the signature together. But, you know, I can move it around later on. And, of course, I have my table full of stuff and it really shouldn't be... Uh, I'm just working with that too. <laughs> I'm working with that mess as well. So let me go ahead and turn on my sewing machine here. Give me one second. I need to sneeze. Let me put y'all on mute for one second. Okay, you guys, and of course, I'm going to be going live uh, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, sometimes I can't go live at 1, so I'll go live at 9 p.m. usually, uh, again, Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's add these really pretty scrap lace border thing you need. I don't even know what this is. I think I call this scrap lace trim. I just call it a bunch of things. Anyway, so I'm going to use a zigzag stitch on the widest, uh, longest setting. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that looks pretty dilly. 
Hello. Welcome. So now we got that. I gotta snip this little piece here. It's too big. I do cut them to be a little bit longer than they should be in most cases. It's just better that way. Okay, so this one goes on this page. And we are just gonna sew that together. What's up, everybody? I hope everybody had a good holiday weekend. And um, I hope you guys are back safely. I heard it's pretty much a disaster on the East Coast with all that snow. I had my own adventure in the snow this weekend. I can't even, like, tell you guys. So... Um, well, not this weekend, I guess. On what on Thursday, we went to go spend the uh, Thanksgiving day. <laughs> we went to go spend Thanksgiving day with my husband's friends in Riverside, California, which is really only four hours away from us. So <laughs> it should have only taken us four hours, right? Well, <laughs> it actually took us like eight hours I, I can't even tell you so basically it's snowed in california i don't know if you guys heard it's snowed in california and i mean i heard that it was gonna snow but i was like it doesn't really snow in california so at least not in the part of california that i'm next to i'm like it doesn't snow in california i don't believe it so i guess what but it did <laughs> Guess what? So it snowed basically along the whole route that we took to California, which is pretty much a straight shot. And it snowed. It started snowing. And um, before it even really started snowing really hard, <laughs> okay, it was pretty much my fault because I kept telling my husband to get off, off the freeway because... I don't know, a Google map showed that there was this one road and that there was less traffic there. So I told him to take that route. So he did. <laughs> so he listened to me. First mistake. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Michelle. Um, so that was his first mistake was um, listening to me. So we took this road and I, okay, I thought I was just going to connect back to the freeway. <clears throat> so this road actually went through the freaking national forest. Um, I don't even remember which national forest. I can't remember what it's called. Oh yeah, something like the San Bernardino National Forest or something like that. So <laughs> I didn't know that. So of course it's... I don't think it's a good idea to go through the national forest with like mountains and forest and stuff on a snowy day. Like, okay, well, I didn't know this because this is California and this is literally the same part of California that gets just as hot as Las Vegas. So I wouldn't imagine that it would snow there ever or that it would snow to the degree that it did. It literally dropped like a foot or two of snow and that is just not normal for this particular part of Las Vegas, or not Las Vegas, but this particular part of uh, Nevada, California type route. And um, yeah, so <laughs> it was really slow getting up there and there was a lot of cars. And I'm like, why is it going so slow? Why is it going so slow? Well, it turns out that it's going so slow because guess what? It's icy because it's snowy. And these are all just regular cars with regular tires trying to get through now icy, snowy roads. And there was just a couple of parts where I wasn't driving, thank goodness, because I would have killed us all. So there was this, these parts where it got really like icy and people were sliding. And even my husband slid and it was really scary, you guys. Oh, my God, it was really, really scary going through going through this part of the mountains. And we're on our way, and we were not even far away. We were like 45 minutes away, you guys. Um, and then they were like, oh, you can't go anymore. You have to turn around. 
because you don't have snow tires. Like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's a, it's a freaking forest, so it makes sense that you would need snow tires, but then it makes sense to me because I don't deal with snow ever. I've, like, I've never seen this particular, I've never seen the 15 be snowy ever. Like, I've never experienced a snowy path to California. It's, I go through the desert and then I'm in California and it's nice weather. Like, I was so confused. I didn't understand. I, I, I went through it and <laughs> like I said, so then we turn around. <laughs> We're on our way back to the regular freeway because we couldn't go this alternative route. And that took forever because everybody else had to turn around. And then we were in the middle of it. And then we ran out of gas. <laughs> so we had to turn back around to this little gas station and pump some gas before we got back to the freeway. And it was, it was, I'm telling you, a four-hour ride took us eight hours, and it was probably my fault. <laughs> I'm the worst. I am so don't listen to me if you're driving with me, and I'm like, oh, maybe we should go this way. Be like, nah, Davy, I don't trust you, and I'd be like, okay, I understand because that was not a good idea of mine. But I didn't see that I was going to go through the forest, so I didn't know that our lives would be in danger. <laughs> my bad. That was so scary. I've never experienced snow like that. Like the snowflakes are really big and like it doesn't sound like rain. Like it, this is like snow is new to me. So like it doesn't sound like rain. So but it does have like a sound, you know, and the snowflakes are really like heavy. Heavy sound for snow. It was not hail. Thank goodness. It did not help, but oh my god, don't listen to me if I tell you to drive some different type of way. <laughs> oh, it felt so bad because I felt like it was totally all my fault. Because <laughs> it was one of the worst. Anyway, so that was my Thanksgiving adventure. We got there very late. <laughs> but um, mac and cheese was good, so that's safe today same day and then yesterday it was my dad's birthday well actually the the day before was my dad's dad's birthday so yesterday I took him out to go eat some dinner um i took him out to the buffet and they had turkey and mashed potatoes which i didn't have turkey so i was kind of excited to have that uh they did have turkey at this place so i was happy to have that uh relatively soonish after thanksgiving but that kind of just makes me want to cook up my own turkey I don't know if I dare try. I've never tried to cook up a whole turkey, but I just really am in the mood to cook up my own turkey <laughs> and kind of have mashed potato leftovers for a month or whatever. It sounds so good. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three. See this. I'm going to switch with this one right here. So that I can sew the corner on this one because this paper is really thin and it'll just shred if I try and sew on it. Rada, what's up? What's up, Rada? Oh my god, it's one of I love you. <laughs> what's up, girl? I'm here doing my little thing. Oh, give me one second. So trying to find my like whole light situation getting that i'm not sure if my lights look good hopefully my mic is good it's actually almost right in front of my face so hopefully <laughs> hopefully you can hear how stuff in my nose is i'm gonna go get some uh benadryl somebody told me to try benadryl like every night or something so i'm gonna try that because it would be nice to breathe uh that would be a nice change um but I wasn't able to get it last night, so hopefully I'm going to go get it today. And next weekend, if everything goes well, I'm going to go be hanging out with Florinda Lee again. 
uh, we're going to go and uh, go antique shopping uh, in my hometown. That's where she lives, back in California. I hope, girl, if it snows, though, I really don't know. I really don't, and I'm going to be driving by myself. I Well, no, I don't have to drive by myself. But if it snows, girl, I don't know. Like, I am I'm on the fence. I just <laughs> got done driving through the snow. <clears throat> and it was not good. It was not fun. And I can't imagine doing that by myself. Which I won't be. So I don't even know why I'm saying that. So hopefully it doesn't snow. Because that was so freaking scary. Cutting off the little edges. And this is almost ready to be sewn into the cover. Almost, almost. And I know I said I was going to do a walkthrough of my, I don't know if this makes too much sound. Oh, and I live near the airport, so I don't know if you guys can hear it. But that's an airplane. <laughs> I live near the airport, like literally right next to it. So, <laughs> you might hear plane noises coming from my videos. <laughs> that happens. That's just going to happen. Okay. Okay, so I was going to ask if you're still coming this weekend. If it snows, oh God, I don't know. I really have to watch the, the forecast because I've never seen snow where this place was snowy. And my husband was talking about like, oh, I wondered why there were signs that said icy roads. Like, I guess this is why. I guess that's why. Okay, so now we are going to sew this into the cover, which again is fabric fused together with cardstock, which I do with my heat and bomb method okay so uh this piece is the size of the cover this is a piece of cereal obviously and i like to use it so that i can keep all of my pages in order as well as all nice and tucked into the spine so then i will arrange pages on here Again, making sure that they're not upside down and that my cover is going the right way, I guess. No, that's fine. <laughs> so let's get these together. This little to do. My cat is so happy, you guys, um, in my new place. Um, he has a nice giant door to look out of, and he's so happy. <laughs> He's thrilled. <laughs> he gets mad at me. Like, well, he doesn't get mad at me, but he'll start scratching at the door and, like, staring at me. Like, and it's just too cold to leave it open. Like, he wants me to open it when I wake up at, like, 6 in the morning, but it's just too cold. And he'll start getting fussy about it. But he also has a window to look out of, um, but he would much, much rather I open the door. <laughs> oh, see, this is upside down. See? That's why we do this. See? It was scary, girl. It was so scary. Fun! I missed you too. Oh my god, I missed you guys so much. I missed hanging out. I missed, um, I didn't really do much crafting, honest. I really did it. Oh, I put together some of the quilt pieces, and I think that's as much crafting as I've done since I last went live. <laughs> and I know I was doing a junk, a Christmas junk journal before, but I just, I'm not in the mood for that. So, we're moving on. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, my nose is terrible right now, you guys. Oh, of course. Okay, so. Symmetry color. 
And I am, like I said, I am using the kits, the junk journal kits that I put together for myself and not for sale, but they're for, for me to put together junk journals. And they already had a selection of different types of book papers that I have and different types of line papers that I have. And they also have ephemera, which I'm going to actually get out and decorate these journals with. So I'm looking forward to that. But I first wanted to get them put together, period. And then we'll work on decorating. So that's kind of how this is going to go. So I hope you guys join me on this whole new adventure that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so now that we got it all together here, and again, I'm like basically pushing on this side of the cardboard. So that way they're all nice and tight up against the spine here. I am going to place them here on the cover where I want them to be. Close it up. I still have like strings attached to it and stuff. Okay, and then... I am going to lay it down. I have my big paper clips here. And let me just make sure the cover is going the right way. Okay. So, uh, like I said, I already drew a line down the middle, so I know exactly where I'm going to be sewing. Bye, Rhonda. <clears throat> so now I'm going to use my sewing machine, and I'm going to set this to straight stitch. But I'm going to make it uh, the longest stitch possible. So I'm going to stitch it once and then twice. And then we're going to go ahead and back stitch because I want to make sure these are nice and secure. And then I'm going to sew down the line that I drew basically with the pencil. And I do like to go a little bit slow because I want to get it right on the line. Just this part is always hectic, no matter what kind of binding technique you're using. It's always such a scary part of junk journaling, <laughs> if you ask me. If you ask me, which nobody is about to say. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three. And now we are done with this one. So, Yes, I want to show you guys my space. However, it's still not together. <laughs> it's still not looking exactly how I want it to look. So I'm going to wait until it gets good. <laughs> I'm happy with the new layout. It's huge. The space, you guys. Oh, my God. My new uh, craft space is basically half the size of the space that I was living in. And I still have like three other rooms. So my house, I mean, my little townhouse, which is actually my parents' townhouse, <laughs> is really, really nice. And I'm really happy about it. So it's a nice change for me. And as soon as I sell my, my trailer, which I'm working on right now, um, I'm going to I'm gonna have a video. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to show, I'm going to have a video. It's going to be a story time. So look forward to that about... The things that I didn't tell you about, the trailer part, because, oh my god, you guys, some stuff happened, and I didn't talk about it. So now that I, uh, when, I sell, when I sell it, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> so they can't trash my house if they know who I am. Okay, so this is junk journal number three that I got done. It's a nice mix of papers and textures, and this lace, you guys, adds a really, really nice look to the journals. Again, you can buy that in my shop. Uh, it's five yards per uh, per roll. You can also make this. I have a video on it. One moment. But, uh, oh Hopefully, I get can get some Benadryl to really help me out. <laughs> I am, I am suffering over here. So nice and right on the spine where I wanted it to be. Okay, so let's put that one away and let's work on the next one. Which I really like this fabric. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. And so I'm going to add some of these. Um, one of these to-do lists. I'll put one of these and then one of these. These are all printables from my shop. They print next to each other, so it's perfect for junk journals and junk journal signatures. That's right. Okay, so 
let's get down to it. And I already have this. Well, I don't know. I guess I did that. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry, you guys. I couldn't reach the me button. <laughs> One second. Oh, my God. Oh, the joys of going live. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted to add these three things to the signature. I definitely don't want two doilings on here. Whoops. So let me attach the doily to it. I don't like my doilies to move around when I sew the signature, so I kind of glue it. I kind of cheat and I glue it down to the page where it's supposed to be. <laughs> that I do. I do that. I am that girl. Okay, so I think this would look cute right here. And then let me find this. I'm trying to make sure that I glue down the doilies. On some of them, I already did it. On some, I did not. So that's what I'm going to keep. Actually, after I keep going, after I'm done going live, I'm going to keep working on um, signatures because, of course, I have a lot more to do. I only have six done. <laughs> So I have a lot more to get going, um, but I am excited to get started on a new collection, basically, and um, I hope it goes well. I hope you guys like it. This one is going to go here. Like I said, some of them, and I have to make more of this Franken paper because, oh my God, it looks so pretty in the signatures, you guys. Coming to Texas, it's humid. You forget all about your allergies. I think I, I can't remember... I did go to Texas. I can't remember if I sneezed or not. I probably did, but I can't remember. Um, but these Franken pages look so pretty in the signature, and I need to make more of them because I'm excited about those. Okay, so oh, the doily was supposed to be on that one, so let's do that. And it's literally the smallest amount of glue. Like you could probably move it off, but don't do that. Okay, so this is gonna go. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. I don't know what is wrong with me. Okay, so it's going there. And, and then, um, oh, this gold one, where's the gold one going? Where? I'll put it right here on this yellow page. Just a little bit of glue. All I remember about Texas is being like annoyed at the humidity. That's what I remember. I remember that. I don't remember about sneezing at all. I can't tell you. Okay, so that glue is done. So now let's get another roll here. Of I'm gonna finish this roll uh, with all these journals. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to make more. I have a bunch for sale, but I don't really want to touch it. I'll have to make more. That's just how it is. Okay, so let's get this done. Sorry about my nose, you guys. I'm hopefully going to get a nice batch of Benadryl and hopefully, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to cut off my nose. I don't know. I don't know what to say. My allergies have not gotten any better <laughs> since you last told me. <laughs> okay, so this is going on here. I used to suffer with allergies on here. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not alone. I'm so happy about it. And a lot of people are like, oh, are you sick? And I'm like, you know what? I wish I was sick because then it would go away eventually. But allergies seem to be forever. <laughs> A forever occurrence. Oh, goodness. It's terrible. It's the worst. <laughs> And then I watched this one, I read this one article about how sometimes you think it's allergies, but it's actually like your brain liquid. And I'm like, what? This guy, I guess his like brain was leaking and he thought it was allergies, but like that, my brain would have been done, would have had like no more liquid left if that was, that was the case. <laughs> I've had allergies forever. Forever and ever. Yeah. 
Okay, so that should be enough, I believe. That should be about four. Four pairs. Yep, that's four pairs. Okay, so now we are going to sew. Okay, back to sewing. Oh, this fabric is so pretty. I don't think I have any of this left. So sad. So, so sad. <laughs> okay. So let's figure out where we're going to add this. I guess I can make this the outside page. So the outside page was a ribbon first. I don't know why I feel like that should be a thing, but I do. So let's put the ribbon on the first pages. Oh, this is pretty. It has three fabric changes right there. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. And I'm going to use a zigzag stitch, longest widest zigzag. Uh, Fawn says, I'm always sniffling like three-year-old, but I make it sexy. Hey, I gotta figure out how to make it sexy. I guess you did. <laughs> my brain leaked out in my 20s. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll calm down then. I guess my brain is not leaking. <laughs> okay, so let's get this here so far. Okay. I think in January it might be fun to do like a journal a day. I might have to go live more than one time a day though. I think uh who did that? Yvonne White did that years ago. She did one journal a day. And it almost killed her. <laughs> so I should try to do it. <laughs> maybe I'll live. Okay, so maybe I'll survive as well. I would have to have all, like everything pretty much ready to go. Do you have a new schedule for the yeah, I'm starting to plan for 2020. I'm going live at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, that's going to stay for as long as I know. But of course, I will keep you guys updated. And again, if I don't go live at 1 p.m., I will go live at 9 p.m. And of course, that's specific for time as well. Okay, so this looks cute. I love it. All the colors. I love it. Okay, so one, two, and three. So we'll put it on this one. That'll be pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Between me and my husband, I swear this weekend we went through like five toilet paper rolls. It's been so bad. So bad. Okay, so if I bought tissue, I would go bankrupt. So I don't know. TP it is for me. Okay, so let me get these off a little bit. It's kind of like a lot of strength to your day to me. Okay, so love again the fabric change there. Oh my god, guys, I'm like obsessed with this trim. I love it so much. Just adds such a pretty little touch. I love it. Okay, so let's get it over here. That's such a junky look. I I can't get over it. I just can't get over it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I guess I I guess I can't be sexy. What what am I supposed to like blow my nose with like thongs? Sexy underwear? Is that how you make it sexy? <laughs> <laughs> I'll blow my nose out with my underwear if it's sexier, I guess. <laughs> or 
or do I need those cute little hankies like they did in the 50s? <laughs> That's what I need is those cute little hankies. Okay, so this goes here. One, two, and three. And let's We'll do this page then. <sighs> Hopefully, I don't know. One of my girlfriends said take Benadryl at night, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> of course, I didn't. I was supposed to get it by this weekend, so I wasn't sniffling today, but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> So, let's do this other side. Let's get this done. My husband lived in Humboldt when we met. I'm a cowboy set, so I love visiting DFW. <laughs> Y'all are talking Texan right now, and I don't know what you're saying. I guess that Dallas Fort Worth area. I don't know. If, are they together? I don't know. Maybe that's your choice. <coughs> it's that Texan talk. And let's do this side right here. I still have so much unpacking to do, you guys. It's really not funny. And I keep pretending that I don't have to do it and like somebody else is going to come do it for me. And that has not happened. <laughs> and I'm sad. Oh, this was supposed to be upside down then. Yeah, okay, so this goes this way. <sighs> I wish I didn't have a nose. Okay, one, two. And then we'll put it on. I don't want to put it on that one. We'll put it on this one right here. It's a very center page. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. So you're suggesting like a nose spray and like an allergy pill. Okay, like prescribed or just like, you know, a regular general allergy pill. So I was just going to get that girl. I don't know. I never stay consistent with it. And <clears throat> she's going to take it every night. I was going to call her and ask her if she meant like the non-drowsy one. Like the drowsy one, the regular kind, and that's why she said to take it at night. I should call and ask her. Okay, okay. Excuse my nose. Oh my god, it's a disaster. Okay, here we go. the warning. I mean, at least now I know that I'm not going to understand what you're saying. <laughs> My husband coached at Splendora for 25 years. I don't know what Splendora is, but that sounds fabulous. It's a good job. Okay, let's get this, all this out the way. I really got a sweet too, because I keep just throwing everything on the floor. I'm the worst. Okay, so that is the center signature now. Center, center page, I should say. Center page. Okay, so now we are ready to sew this into the cover. So, my stereo box. Okay. I don't even know if my videos are going to have ads on them anymore. 
I might have to, because of this whole coffee thing. I mean, I'm not freaking out about it, but because <clears throat> I'm definitely not for children. I don't think children would watch me at all. <laughs> I don't know why they would. <laughs> uh, so I'm not freaking out about it. But I'm not sure if my uh, videos are going to show ads or not, which I'm sure nobody's crying about. <laughs> and I really only make like 30 bucks, 40 bucks a month off of it. So it's not like I'm really losing my livelihood, even if they do cut off my ads. But I might start a Patreon so that way I don't have to worry about ads. So if anybody wants to donate, or you have to just check out my shop to support, of course. And I thank you guys so much for that. Uh, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I don't know what's going on, but I don't, I don't take very well to threats about being sued for anything and everything. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm American. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something that's legally binding. I'm going to sue you for everything and anything. Like, what? No, I live in America. Like, what are you talking about? You can't do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, I don't think the government has enough money to sue everybody for everything. <laughs> At least not my government. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. <laughs> like, I know I start off my videos by saying, what's up all you cool kids? But my videos are not directed for kids. <laughs> okay, so this goes here. I need to blow this butt. I need to sew this off as well. So let's get this centered on here. All sorts of new noises coming to my my videos, so I'm very excited about that. And by that I mean the sirens, the airport, the cars driving by, the people walking by my door. Because <laughs> more than likely around this time it's going to be open because my cat wants to look outside. <laughs> Okay, one second. I just got to this part. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> I miss breathing through my nose, you guys. How does that feel? How does that feel? Because <laughs> I have forgotten the feeling. Oh, and I forgot to draw a line, of course. Very lightly drawing that line that I'm going to sew on. You guys, I can't with this nose. Okay, so straight stitch, the longest setting. And let's get it. I do two stitches and then I back stitch two stitches and then we move forward. Very slowly, but we're moving forward. I thought maybe I should take it easy back on this diamond to crafting after so long of not crafting. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me make 24 jump drills. <laughs> That is this journal. Went off the side a little bit, but you know what? That's fine. You know what? It's okay. So it is. Oh, I gotta make more of these Franken journal pages. They look so pretty. They look beautiful. I gotta make more. I just really like the way they look in the journal. I wasn't expecting to like it so much, but you know what? I really do. So that's really cute. Got a nice mixture here. Papers, lined papers, different types of book paper. Uh, printed ephemera from my store. Different uh, uh, printed pages from my kits. And then, of course, we're going to decorate them to make them look really, really cute. But that's another one down. And actually, I like to uh, put them closed so that they get used to be closed a little bit. Okay, so we are moving on to the next one. 
to be this fabric, which I love. I'm so sad I'm almost out of this fabric. It's the prettiest. I had a big bunch of it, and I don't know where it went. It's all gone. I've just been using it here and there, here and there. Okay, so let me add some pages here for my little my little pack of stuff here. We'll add um, one of these. We will add one of these and one of the to-do lists. Oh wait, actually, I'm gonna add one of these. Why not? And then one of the to-do lists still. <laughs> Because we're all extra here. Okay, there we go. So, let me get some chopsticks. Oh my god, I need some chopstick. I got to use this whole new layout because usually my computer screen was off here to my left and now it's off to my right. So I got to get used to that. <laughs> um, there's an airplane right there. I don't know if you can hear it or not. That is an airplane. Okay, so this is glued on. Good, so that job is done. Okay, perfect. So let's put these pages in here. Add this in here. Skip a couple more pages. Then we'll add, we'll add this one. And a couple more pages. And we'll add this one. And these printables are like they print right next to each other, so they're perfect for signatures. Or of course, you could cut them apart, but I like to use them in my signatures like that. They look really, really cute. So you have that option. Okay, so this one is going to go in this one. The middle page. And then the middle page. Sorry, light. All right. Daisy is on it. <laughs> Cast Daisy was on it. That's great. Okay, so now let me cut out my little ribbon pieces here for the page. Need a total of eight little pieces. I love the fabric change and then the lace change. I love, love, love that. You guys know. I'm like obsessed with this trip. I'm telling you guys, it's fun making too. Like, just sit here and watch TV and just make this for hours on end. And it's, it never really gets old. It's really fun to do. It's not hard. Like I said, I, I'm selling it in my shop. But of course, I also have a video on how you can do it yourself uh, using just uh, strips of fabric and some lace. And this was actually lace that I had that was actually way too wide. So I cut it down. Um, so that's actually one way I got to use it up because I had so much lace that was super wide, like eight inches, 10 inches, 12 inches wide. And I had no really use for it till I started doing this. And now I used it all up. <laughs> oh, time to get out your sewing machine, fawn. Oh, I think I might have cut too many pieces of that already. So <laughs> I went a little too heavy. Okay, so let's put the first one on the first page. I like to space these out a little bit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I go right here and again I'm gonna use the exact stitch. I'm gonna use the widest, longest setting that I can. I think tomorrow I'll have uh, I'll start decorating tomorrow. So I have to, well, actually, I have to start decorations. I have to make some decorations before I start decorating. So tomorrow, for sure, I'll be working on that. Today, all day, though, I'm going to work on these signatures and getting them together. So it's truck and vlog. <laughs> I found a bunch of like tags and stuff that I already have made, so I don't need to make like tags and journal cards. I just need to get my little like floral embellishments that I like to make. And then I just have a lot of ephemera to use up myself, so get ready for that tomorrow. It's just going to be one hour 
straight of making embellishments, the little flower ones that I like to make. I was going to do that today, but uh, I really want to get started off getting these journals together. Together. So one, two, three. Let's see. We're going to switch this paper with this paper. And again, I do that sometimes because this paper is sturdier than this paper to have the ribbon sewn on it. So that's why that happens sometimes. And sew the ribbon. It looks so pretty. Okay, okay, okay. Oops. I <laughs> put the window down. Okay, okay. Don't touch the computer. Okay. You definitely don't want to pull on this. It does scratch it up, so you don't want to pull <laughs> on it at all. You just want to lay it down. Oops. I'm going to cut off some of the paper. Okay. On the other side. All right. These are getting put together so easily thanks to all the pre-planning that I made. Like making all this. Um, the kits. Also my junk drum kits really help me. are going to continue to help me. I just have to get all the pages cut down to size and whatnot. So I'll be busy doing that all day today. And I'm so happy to be back, you guys. Thank you guys so much for um, all your encouraging words on my update video. Um, it was really, really nice of everybody to kind of be there for me. Say nice things, and I really, really appreciate that so much. Put it on this music paper. Good choice. Okay. Just like curved, like kind of like this did a little bit. I didn't really pull on it, but this paper's kind of thin, just a little bit on the thinner side, so it did kind of bulge, but it doesn't show like that on the actual journal. So it's okay. I can live, I can live. So I'm looking forward to being back, you guys, and scrapbooking or junk journaling with you guys. Um, back at my normally regular schedule <laughs> time, my regular scheduled time of um, um, PM Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So I'm going to keep up with that schedule. Uh, just sometimes my mom wants to hang out during the day, like. <laughs> so that's when I usually don't go live during the day. Or sometimes like I might have to go show my trailer. Uh, that just might be until I sell it. Oh no, I knew something was wrong. You're out of bobbin. Actually, I'm too lazy to do this. Let me get another bobbin. 
It's the bottom one, so it doesn't really matter what color it is. So I'm gonna do this bright blue because why not? The bobbin, it's actually gonna show on this project, but you know what? That's okay. It's a cute blue. It's a good looking blue, I'd say. <laughs> okay. So let's YOLO, you guys. You know what? YOLO. Let's just do that. Crisis of Earth. I do not want to make another spool of that. I really should make more white. Uh, more white of those. But uh, let's see what I do right now. And actually, I think this is going to be cute. Actually, that's really cute. It has It's blue on the bottom. Can't really see it, but it's actually really cute. And I'm letting for it. Yes. I'm going to work with it. There we go. Okay, so let me just put this together and I will let you guys go for the day. Still have uh, <laughs> like 18 more journals to go. But I'm going to try and work on them, like I said, today. Tomorrow I'm going to start on more decorations with you guys. Of course, I'm going to be doing a lot of crafting off video. So you can see it right there, kind of. Which I'm okay with it. I'm not mad at it. It's okay. Okay, so let's get this over here. And let's get the signature sewed in. So is the center paper live, like I said? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Oh my god, you guys, I was trying to get to the unmute button and I kept sneezing. Okay, so let's just finish off this uh, junk journal. I have the cover here, and the cover is going in this direction. Just make sure first that's the first step. <laughs> Put out my cereal box here. And again, I'm going to use this to arrange my pages along the spine, pushing up against this side right here so it takes some pressure. And let's just keep going. This is going to go right here. Okay, we're going to keep it going. Keep it going. I'm going to put this one down here and this one up here. I like to do that sometimes. They're gonna look so cute. And I'm also gonna do a closure for them. I had to figure out, I think I had to go to the dollar store to do this one um, type of closure for them before I put them up for sale because I think it's gonna look really cute with a nice closure so you can, you know, put more stuff in it and you don't have to worry about it just, you know, being open. So I think that's gonna be a good look. Here. This one person on uh, Junk Journal Junkies chat, and also I think they've posted on other places as well. They did this tutorial on this closure using like a like a hair tie and ribbons. So I know I have ribbon. I need to go buy hair ties. So I gotta go do that before I do the closures. I think she also needs a button. I don't know if I have buttons. I really don't know if I have buttons. <laughs> so I'm going to need my trusty, handy dandy, regular size paper clips on my baby hands. They look big. Okay, so this page kind of moved a little bit, but I guess we'll live. I guess we shall live. I just need 
lifted this so it seems a little high, so just move it down a little bit. Okay. Excuse me. Oh my god, this nose is terrible. And honestly, it's from having a cat too. Honestly, it's because I've had a cat for the last, oh my god, uh, 20 years of my life. <laughs> it feels like. And, um, yeah, that probably has to do with it too. Okay, so let's get this sewed on here. We're using a straight stitch, longest setting. One and two, and then back stitch. Backstitch and we backstitch and then we're done. And then we are done with this live and then we're done with these junk journals. Like I said I still have um I don't know about 18 of them to do. <laughs> So I am, uh, that looks cute. That looks kind of cute. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think I might just keep it. Well, I don't know, because that looks adorable. But it might not be with the other color schemes. But anyways, so that is this video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I got three junk journals uh, sewn in, so I'm happy about that. It's good progress in the last hour or so. Um, I'm going to add these to the, the bunch that I'm doing. I'm going to work on this next one that I have and cut up the papers for the next 18 or so. So, I hope you guys join me tomorrow. I'll be working on some embellishments to get a head start on that so I can decorate all these junk turtles, um, like, almost all at once. So, I hope to see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sorry about my nose. Hopefully, I get some Benadryl. If you guys have any feedback, such as my lighting or my sound, please leave me a comment down below. I am still trying to fix it up. Um, so if you guys have any feedback, let me know uh, what you guys think. Uh, thank you guys so much, Dilly, for joining me. Uh, thank you to Fawn. Thank you to Steph, who else is here with me. Uh, to Rhonda, of course, uh, for hanging out with me. Michelle, thank you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, Ray, thank you so much for being here. I will be back to my regularly scheduled program. I'm going live at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. I'll see you guys then. Bye.